guys, today's video is a new episode from the best of series that this time is dedicated to the note of peach in the perfumery that I've been obsessed with the last couple of months and I took some time to research the best peach dominant or peach featuring perfumes ever and so if you're looking for a great perfume with this note this video is going to be just perfect for you because my goal is to show you that the same note can smell differently in the perfumery depending on the perfumer's idea and today you can expect a juicy and fruity peach a floral peach a dark peach an oriental peach an avant-garde peach a traditional peach and so many different peaches that we Without further ado, let's get started. and welcome to this new episode from the best of series that I have a lot of fun doing so let me know which next note you want me to discuss in the comments I already have a couple on my mind but I'm always open to your requests and today we are gonna discuss peach peach that I've been obsessed with for the last couple of months and actually I wanted to release this video last uh, month in September but I decided to be first so we are continuing our fruity theme with peach and I have just the best peach perfumes to share with you but I'm already thinking of doing a part two so if you can recommend me something great with peach oh my god I'm still obsessed with it so let me know all of your thoughts and I wanna tell you that I even bought a peach liqueur and normally I don't drink but today you'll get a tipsy Yana so on that note let me get into the peach mood and I want to begin with the most realistic peach ever which is by the Swedish indie niche brand called Linda Landenberg and the fragrance Peche a suede is the most natural scent of peach in the perfumery I've ever smelled. Oh yes, it's so bright, it's so realistic that uh, wearing it you'll get a feeling that you've just um, had peach from the tree. Ripe, delicious, juicy and it's funny that in the opening it smells very natural, refreshing, liquidy. It's just like biting into the real ripe peach but it dries down into the scent of a peach skin because we have suede, freesia and sandalwood in there and it's just like oh, peach so beautiful if you're looking for a peach and you want it to be just otherworldly that's it and this is a great brand that won a couple of awards and my favorite rose a trembling rose is also from it so do check it out particularly if you're looking for a realistic perfume that will smell like the real fruit we are moving on to something I have a story to tell you about and uh, this is Playing with the Devil by Killian and I had a sample of it first which I gave to my mom because I didn't like it and then her friend from Ukraine came to visit us with whom we always go perfume shopping and I wanted to make her to buy something from Killian and my mom was with us and she was like, oh, yes, Yana, that perfume, devil, devil, something. And I was like, not playing with the devil, it's cloying. And after my mom's friend smelled it, she loved it and purchased it. After her second visit, she decided to repurchase it. And I loved it on her. I was obsessed. I've been complimenting her all day on this perfume. So she gave me the old one, the rest here, which I treasure because this is a very juicy, but at the same time dated, sexy, provoking, bougie type of peach perfume that is not only about peach. We have um, a bunch of other fruity notes. So it's like a peachy cocktail with black currant, black orange, lychee in there, and also has red pepper black pepper, lots of flowers and beautiful base notes. So yeah, if you're looking for a very very sexy 
peach and you want to play with devil Killian's perfume is just a killer and I love it and it smells so beautifully on the skin rather feminine although I could define it as unisex the previous one was 100% unisex and yeah those two even layer together oh my god this one brings out the um, peachy note and this one really brings in sexiness. So with that being said, from one peachy expensive perfume to another one that I've purchased just recently, but I had it on my wish list for a couple of months. You might remember it from my 2020 wish list and I'm so glad that I purchased Atalia from Bottega Veneta's exclusive French Parc Palladiano because this is one of the most unique perfumes ever and it has peach in there. Other than that, there is tangerine, orange blossom and azalea flower, which I'm not even sure if uh, it has the smell. Let me know if it does. But it has even a cooler note that I think is imaginary, but believe it or not, I smell chestnut in there and vanilla that is not this gourmand sweet vanilla it just adds the sweetness to everything without taking it to the you know bakery so this smells elegant my mom sprayed herself with it today and i was like so addicted to the way she smells so this is one of the most beautiful perfumes ever that smells kind of like familiar it's very floral i would say this is like the scent of uh, a peach oh, blossom with some chestnuts and uh, vanilla so yeah it's very beautiful it performs lovely and is very very expensive for men and women who can appreciate something unique you know, it's sunny, but at the same time with the chestnut and vanilla, I think it will be also a great transitional perfume to wear in between the seasons. Okay, let's move on to something that is a bit more simple and is a bestseller from Jamalon, which is called Nectarine Blossom and Honey. And honey, this is delicious. It's like the marriage of nectarine and peach and they are very similar to each other although I feel they differ in texture because peach it has like fuzziness to it and nectarine is rather glazed you know and um, very silky. So this is a glossy, delicious, yummy, sunny, summery type of peach perfume. Very yummy, very mouth-watering. If you like such realistic fruity perfumes that are very very juicy in their you know like texture and vibe then this is for you. It can be layered with any other perfume if you want to give it a peach touch too. And it is unisex and it's just amazing. If you like Jo Malone or you're looking for something everyday friendly with peach that will bring a bit of sunshine in your life, that's it. I didn't plan to purchase it, but after smelling it, I was like, I need it for my peach video because this is one of the best. Let's talk about perfume I've been waiting for a couple of years because I had a very exclusive preview on the brand new perfume by Sarah Baker called Bascool. And this, my dear friends, is one of the most creative perfumes I've ever smelled. It's polarizing, it's absolutely mind-blowing and it was inspired by the Princess Charlotte Kassiraji, I might mispronounce her name, and she's just beautiful and she rides horses and she won competitions and uh, this fragrance smells like uh, horses when you, you know, sniff on the bottle, but when you spray it on, it changes and it's just so interesting. Even my stepsister today, as I was getting ready for this video, I showed her the majority of these perfumes and she was like, oh, I smell the horse, you know, and that's the idea. It's kind of animalic and uh, a little bit skanky, but once you spray it, it has this gorgeous greenery and note of hay that is so noticeable. It's like you are coming to your horse and then once you get on it you get the leather you get to the scent of the animal and there is something so raw and sexual about it something that is almost smoky and metallic and will play with your imagination and will oh my god like I am 
this is this is one of the best perfumes ever will definitely go into the top list of best releases of the year and I'm just telling you if you like any Malik slightly skanky perfumes and you want there to be like a fun bright peach element that is it it also has this uplifting natural country yard greenery to it so yeah I don't know what else to tell you about it it's just great on all levels. So let's talk about peachy perfume that brings me a lot of compliments and that is of course Tiziana Terenzi's perfume Andromeda that I won't lie smells just a little bit synthetic to me personally but when I wear it people come up to me and are like what is your perfume? I don't know what is it about it that uh, attracts people so much. Probably Terence's signature touch. It's sweet and floral. Um, there is cashmere in there, in there. The fruitiness, it's muted. It's not the realistic note of peach. It's just fruity. But in the notes, peach is um, there. So yeah, um, it's sweet. It's like... Um, oh, I like it, but at the same time there is something that bothers me, but I just love the attention that people give me when I have it on. So yeah, if you're looking for a mass appealing, fruity, sweet, delicious perfume um, that is very, very fun, I recommend you this one. Plus this bottle is also very eye-catching. Very, very attractive perfume. So if you know something about peach perfumes, then you're probably wondering if um, Tom Ford's Bitter Peach is going to be on this list. And I won't lie, I really wanted to feature it in this one because, you know, I've been obsessed with peach and then suddenly Tom Ford released Bitter Peach that is about peach and other great notes. And I was very underwhelmed with the Rose Prick and this one that looks even prettier than the previous limited edition grabbed my attention and I wanted to blind buy just for the sake of peach. But then I was like, Yana, it's very, very expensive, so better smell it, which I did yesterday. And although from the peach, we get only the name. I still purchase it. Ta-da! Here it is. Tom Ford's Bitter Peach uh, that doesn't really look peachy, rather orangey. And that's also more dominant note in there. But I will tell you more. We have very serious patchouli action going on in there, as well as Davana, which is mesmerizing material that smells like boozy, alcoholy type of uh, green note. There are woodsy notes, alcohol nuances of cognac and rum, which might sound it very exciting, and then a bunch of other great notes. But I will tell you how it smells. I put it on yesterday and today. Actually, I'm wearing all of these perfumes. That's why I keep smelling myself. By the way, I need to drink, not forget it. Oh, this is like a nice uh, refreshing touch. I should drink more often while videos. I am extra chatty. Not tipsy enough, so maybe I should drink more. Oh no, I will uh, le like leave a bit more for um, the rest of the perfumes. But yeah, I got off topic. Bitter peach. It is bitter indeed. It's like sweet, sour, alcoholy, fruity, orangey, patchouli. But you know how it smells? I first thought about Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel because patchouli in there is pretty strong too, but then today I totally realized that this is the original Mugler's Angel in a bottle. Like, they are almost 90% similar and that's crazy, particularly for the fact that I'm a hater of Angel and the reformulated one appeals to me more and uh, fans of that iconic perfume might kill me for that, but still, if you're looking for something very similar to Mugler's um, Angel, that's it. That's that very sweet, sour patchouli. Not very peachy, but you know, it's in the name and it's in the video. For men and women, great for colder weather, just because it's very like warm, round and um, enjoyable. Fun, fun perfume, but not very peachy, just saying. Peach is rather imaginary in there. So let's talk about something very luxurious and extra, which is uh, M. McLeff's uh, bestseller 
Royal Mosca with Swarovski crystals on the bottle. It looks so, so pretty. And this is a very, very tender perfume that is about musk in the first place. We have kind of like a muted fruity accord in there and um, faded floral sea. And musk is very soft in the opening, but as it develops, I've been religiously wearing it for the last couple of days and I can't get enough of it. It's beautiful. I totally understand the hype around it. And it's just really feminine, elegant and pretty. Peach is in there, but it's not that real note of peach that you smell in Peche as Wade or a couple of other today's fragrances. This is peach in the very, um, you know, like sophisticated way. It's not very fruity. It's rather musky and you can make it your signature scent without questions. And I have a coupon code for you guys, with which you can save some money. It will be valid till 11th of November. So definitely check it out, particularly if you've always wanted a Mikolov perfume, now it's time. All the health information where you can find it and about my code is gonna be below. It's tomolis 15 and definitely check it out and stay tuned for my review on it and another one, Desire Toxic, that is coming up really soon. So I've told you that I will share with you different peachy perfumes and you got a sexy one, a floral one, a green one, whatever. Now it's time to talk about something deeper, uh, heavier, more intense and this is my oriental peach choice that goes to Amber Kashmir by Premier Note. And I'm just obsessed with this box and this bottle. That's why I wanted to show you both. But yeah, it's golden. It's pretty. It's for the lovers of oriental ambery patchouli fragrances that should be overpowering and very comforting, very sexy. Even spicy cinnamon is in there and nectarine, which is in there rather like for just like an illusion of freshness and fruitiness because it is all about the oriental notes but it is in there and I find it's great for this colder weather that we are moving towards to yeah this is gorgeous very sexy for men and women premiere note created a beautiful amber with some nectarine so it's like a shiny and glossy amber thanks to our fruity friend. Oh, the next one is going to be a romantic peach by Le Parfums de Rosine. And that's their ballerina number four. That is one of the prettiest perfumes ever, not only with peach, but peach is in there. Actually, my stepsister today said that this is like the prettiest perfume ever as she smelled it. Because, you know, you get the peach. It's pretty obvious. It's not like very realistic still. Number one is Pechette Suede, but it's like gorgeous, very easygoing floral sea that is so effortless, that is so beautiful that um, mm, a thousand words couldn't describe its beauty. And there is like a cardamom pink pepper surprise in there. And I would say that if you're looking for something chic, for something that you can impress people with and make a pleasure to yourself, this perfume, every time I wear it, I'm like, oh yeah, oh yes, wear it more often. But I save it for other special occasions or when I'm in the mood for it. It's beautiful. It's a safe blind buy and it looks so pretty. It's not very feminine. It's like 80% feminine, but guys, don't be afraid of that bottle. It looks feminine, but the fragrance can be worn by romantic souls out there. I'm so excited to share with you my new discovery I'm like addicted to and it is by the youngest perfumer I know, Frederick Robin, and it's his number five. And it was actually inspired by his sister who loved sweet perfumes with the huge trail and um, beastly performance and after eight trials she finally loved something that her brother created for her he even said it's probably the fact that i'm her brother that she hated all the perfumes i've created for her but this one appealed to her and i totally understand why actually i can't get enough of it you might have seen my instagram post in which i over applied it and i'm not an over applier i'm just so obsessed with it that i can't get enough of it and it's just like 
there is something, it's all about the balance, the seamless uh, blend and harmony of all the notes. And actually, uh, there are not that many ones. Florentine Iris, Mexican Vanilla, Peach and Musk, but it's nostalgic and avant-garde at the same time, quite affordable. So please, get yourself one if you need a cheer-me-up moment in your life. This one will do that. It might be your signature scent. It's so unique and creative. I've smelled lots of perfumes and have never smelled anything like this. It's not a very sweet peach, but it's definitely in the candy style. But it's not sticky sweet. It's not a gourmand. It's something like a perfume secret. And this muskiness, it's almost a little bit sour or something. It's very fluffy too. So it's like a fluffy, peachy, fuzzy skin with layers of musk on it. And just congratulations for such an amazing work. Frederick Robin, I want to smell more of your perfumes. And you guys, now you have a new brand to discover. And this perfume, it's unisex too. It's not that 100% feminine, but I have even made one of my subscribers buy it and she got back to me with a thank you because this is something special. My mom's favorite peach though is Maison Violet's Un Air d'Apogée and if you like powdery perfumes this is gonna be your jam because violets in there are huge which make perfumes smell powdery. There is also iris and a bunch of other beautiful purpley notes and just like um a little drop of peach juice just to blend the rest of the elements and it smells very very Parisian actually first time it was released in 1923 and then re-released recently and I have a special coupon code for you to save some money so it's gonna be down below for you definitely check it out particularly for the transition season this fragrance that is kind of like autumnal and atmospheric powdery will make you fall in love and get out of uh, fall depression. <laughs> so yeah, it will make your soul sing. I'm not kidding. This is a very, very, very pretty perfume. Um, must have for the lovers of uh, peach and violet notes combo. This is such a long list, but we are almost done. Now it's time to share with you Roger Duff's Enigma for Women. And I got it thanks to my dear and generous subscriber. And I'm obsessed with it so much, you can't even imagine. Actually, I heard it is similar to Trezor, which I really, really want to smell because it is also heavy on peach and is a classic perfume. This one, though, is just... It's so beautiful. It's peach that is powdery and floral. It smells perfumey. It smells like something I know which might be Trezor. And since I don't have enough money for this absolutely satisfying peach that is not overly fruity, nor it is like um, too heavy. It's just a peach perfection that is a must try for the lovers of powdery perfumes that will make you feel like only one in the world. But I will definitely check out Trezor. And if you know similar perfumes to that one, please comment them down below because I want to create a um, Trezor inspired perfume video really soon for you. So the last peach perfume I will mention is by Mason Margiela and it's a mutiny that I got from Royalty of Scents which is a decant company that creates decants of different niche perfumes and this one I first tested a couple of years ago didn't like it basically I was underwhelmed by it but since I'm obsessed with peach now I remember that it is pretty noticeable in here and this is just like a fruity cocktail there are lots of different fruity elements we have pear and apple peach and some citruses, also a couple of flowers, saffron, wood and leather, which are not that noticeable to me. For me, it's mostly about fruity cocktail with um, tuberose blossom in there. So it's very juicy and fruity. It's um, a little bit more on the commercial side and that's make it understandable for people and very wearable. So it's my everyday peach friend that I wear to work and enjoy a lot. You know, it's um, appropriate for 
every occasion just because it's so fun, optimistic, um, it's like a happy peach. So another peach I have is Madeline Peach Number no. 7 by Malek Perfumes. I just wanted to quickly mention it. It's not very peachy, it's run about aldehydes and it was actually inspired by another well-known perfume, Soko by Guerlain, which uh, I won't mention in this video because I want to dedicate a whole video to mitsoko like or mitsoko inspired perfumes, which I will release probably next week, so please stay tuned for it. If you know any Trezor-like perfume, I think that's going to be the next classic fragrance I will, you know, like uh, pay attention to and discuss perfumes uh, that are similar to it and share with you some recommendations for those who like the classic but want something a bit more modern. So if you like that idea, please give this video a thumbs up and if you like this video and learn about uh, great peach recommendations, which I hope you did, please give it a thumbs up, please, it's so important and please subscribe because I noticed that I have 70% of yours without subscription on my channel so what's that about guys? Hey, I post videos for you. Let's be friends. Let's chat. Let me know which of these perfumes stood out to you. I've mentioned so many different ones, so I'm really excited what you liked most. And do you have a favorite peach perfume? I mean, like, I could talk even faster, but my glass is empty, so I need to wrap it up. It's probably the longest best of I've ever done, and I know more peach perfumes that I will share with you in the second part. Let me know if you would like to see it, but let's do it in the summertime, because I find fruity perfumes, particularly peach, is great for hotter weather. And on that note, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun like I did. Let me know which next note you want to see in the episode of uh, Best Off video. And yeah, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Stay tuned, smell good, and we'll see each other next one really soon. Bye, guys! You cannot even imagine I smell of peach everywhere. <laughs> like, I, I am like walking peach here. I love peach. It's definitely the favorite. Uh, I can't talk. It's Definitely my most favorite uh, fruity note. Let me know about you. Let me know what's your favorite fruity note, like peach. There are some oh, peach. I will create the best peach perfume. I will do more. Oh, my throat is hurting. Yeah, stop talking. You know what? Normally when I'm doing the series, I'm like, all right, now I'm done. Let's move on to the next note, but I'm not done with peach. I don't know what's that about. Like, it's such an addictive note. Let me know if you agree, or am I the only lover of peach here? <gasps> Hopefully not. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I purchased lots of these perfumes myself, and uh, thanks God I got a couple for a review, but I'm broke now. So <laughs> like and share, like and share.